All right, thanks for staying with us. You're still watching Ways Now, almost everyone I know has received WhatsApp, a WhatsApp message or messages with some false or utterly ridiculous content, um, especially concerning this uh, coronavirus. COVID. And all they have done is to create panic and anxiety. Now, our guest, Chibwezi Ewuzie, is the current deputy coordinator of the Young African Leaders Initiative, Yali, Lagos chapter, and became a Yali Regional Leadership Center Fellow for Emerging Leaders in 2018 due to his work in youth career development advocacy. He is very passionate about building sustainable cities for Africans and is committed to using his voice as a medium to promote that consciousness amongst Africans. Now, remember, you can join this conversation. Tweet at us at Plus TV Africa or at Waste Your Africa One with the hashtag Waze. Send us an SMS or WhatsApp to 081 8038466. Thank you so much for joining us, Chibweze. It's a pleasure. Now, we were having a conversation earlier, yeah. uh, myself and EC, and I was really now, uh, one very correct research that I, I read about, five parameters of receiving new information. Um, I know you were in the studio listening to us. Did yeah. you, do you agree with those parameters? Um, okay, so top of my head, um, I can't quite remember all of them. Okay, but you want me to quickly in, oh, yeah, run please. through I think, them? I think you should take if them. If others believe again. it, if there's evidence, if it fits your own previous knowledge, if that the internal argument makes sense and if the source is credible. Okay. So if others believe it, um, that doesn't make it credible. Absolutely. Right? And even if you go to the source, the source could be compromised. So there's another way to go about, you know, fact checking um, information, even if you're looking from the source, yeah. right? Um, you mentioned um, if you have an internal conversation. I mean, you could be biased. <laughs> Absolutely, right? yeah. You could be biased and that could, you know, alter the real reflection of what that information should be about. And um, what was the fourth one? The fourth one is if the internal argument makes sense. Okay, I've already disputed that one. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> if there's right. evidence. Okay. Up, you just hear people that you have evidence to back your claims. Yeah, I mean, even evidence, you need to fact check evidence. Absolutely. Right? Um, so, there are, there are certain steps that you need to take to verify any form of information. The first thing, you would find that any fake information is usually written very badly. The English language is very Not poor. all the time, though. No, I'm, I'm, just, I'm just saying that it's a, it's, it's a general concept, um, concept yeah. for fake in information. And even when it's well written, right, that is when you now need to take further steps. So first of all, most broadcasts would definitely have some interesting um, facts, right? So if you pick that fact out and you throw it into Google, mm. Google will definitely tell you how true or how What if fake. it is Google that is bringing the fake news? Well, um, I would like to say that even on Google, right, there are always, um, I mean, when you search any information, Google always gives you from the most credible. Yeah, so you know, absolutely. You already, you already sorted that information out for you. But, but when, the, when we talk about false news, or we call it fake news, uh, it spreads fast and deeper. Mm. than the real deal, the truth. Mm. And people Why find is it this? easier to believe even. So first things first, I mean, bad news travels is, faster. Travels faster. <laughs> I mean, that's just it, right? Um, beyond that, you know, I think one thing about journalism is that there is a thin line between being sensational and actually telling the news, mm. right? And because of the competition in the industry, it's journalists are always trying to be, you know, sensational so that, you know, they could get more clicks or they could get more reads. Now, the thing is that while it fuels um, rivalry or competition in the media, in the legitimate media, mm -hmm. right, it also emboldens these fake news Social peddlers. Media. Because they've seen that, look, this is what people want to read. This is what people want to discuss about. And the crazier the idea, the grander the idea, the faster it moves. So how so, do you decipher what news sources to trust? OK, so there are a few steps that, you know, I mean, on my way here, I just kept thinking about it because I'm like, OK, what kind of information would people like to know about how to fact check information? First things first, I already mentioned the part about the, the poor grammar. I mean, that in its own should be, you know, some form of suspect. You should be suspect to that information once there is poor grammar because if it's a professional journalist who, you know, typed that information, it would have, it would definitely be in a good, you know, written in proper English, right? <laughs> now, that is one. Now, like I said before, if the information carries any form of, you know, facts, you can just pick out the facts, Google and that fact, mm. okay. right? Get a bit of information. 
The third one is that even when you go to the source, like you said, and the source might be compromised, you need to also verify from other credible news um, agencies. So you could go to Senior, CNN, you could go to Plus TV, because if the news is true, definitely you can't be the only one reporting that news. It's just not possible. It will go everywhere. It has, everybody has to carry that news. Mm -hmm. So BBC will carry it, Al Jazeera mm -hmm. will carry it. Mm -hmm. Everybody will definitely so carry it. Do you think, I, I believe strongly in personalities, right? Um, why, why, while I was reading their research, part of what that vaccine, if they eventually produce it, is supposed, is supposed to do is to slow down your, 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 your brains or something so you can calmly think through. People don't think. People just jump into conclusions. Yeah. Because even I have learned, right, I have learned from experience that even when they present facts to you as a person, you need to also... Take a deep take a pause. My, yes. my coach mm -hmm. always says, mm -hmm. take a deep pause and look through that, um, information. that information. Yeah. You, would, you would filter certain red flags. So do you think your personality as a person plays a huge role in how you receive false information? Because for me now, there's no amount of, please share. It is a matter of life and death that I will share. I, wouldn't, I won't yeah. share that. So I am looking at personality and exposure. Mm. Is it because I am exposed? Because you cannot come into a room of filled with scientists, right? And come and tell them that, ah, atom is now X, Y, Z. No, they are scientists. Yeah. They will tell you, where's the, where's the theoretical proof for this? Mm. Or where's the experiment? Let us, they will do all of those things. They will check everything before mm -hmm. they say, okay, your claims is right and they take it. Mm -hmm. So exposure and personality, what role does it play with false news? So I think it plays a very huge role. I mean, if you take a look at, so I mean, we all belong to one WhatsApp group or the other, huh, right? Absolutely. And it's, on, it's, 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 it's very popular for people to share such information, right? But if you check the personality of the people sharing those kind of information, you will find that they are usually very gullible people. Thank right? you. People that would be very emotional about a conversation, who wouldn't just want to think about what you're saying, but would rather want to react based on their biases, based on their upbringing, based on what they already know. Mm. So pe pe people's personality definitely plays a huge role. You know, um, People who are definitely more exposed, you would expect them to also be a little bit more discerning. But you will find that sometimes you know, this information slips <laughs> hey. through the cracks and they still reveal their insecurities. But because at the end Absolutely. of the day, people are just insecure, right? They are always expecting the worst to happen Absolutely. in any situation. Hmm. So when they find a news that connects with that insecurity, it definitely comes through in the way they will quickly want to share that information. You have hit the nail <laughs> on, on the head. head. Let's take a, a question from okay. WhatsApp. This is from Edgar. I personally believe some sort of regulations on the use of social media is needed. Um, Okay, so if Weko says, I think people feel the growth of fake news. We r rarely have positive news trend. So do you agree? Okay, maybe should I take the question again? So let's, no, <laughs> let's take the first one. Question, right? yeah, let's from take, Edgar. Yes, from Edgar. So what, what Edgar is, is trying to say is, um, as individuals, right? Um, sorry, just take, take, take the that again. The question is, like I personally a, believe some sort of, or is it Regulation. Regulations okay, on use of social media is needed. Okay, um, so... And I think, Isi, you had a question. I had a it? question on yeah. that. What I was mean, that question? The question simply says that um, due to uh, misinformation, is there a way we can actually control the use of social media to curb um, um, fake news? So, I mean, it's very unfortunate. You cannot control fake news. And as a matter of fact, even before the before the introduction of social media, fake news has always been a thing. It's not going anywhere, unfortunately. But what you can do is that you can have more enlightened people. Huh. You can have more responsible sharers of information. But if it's about eradicating fake news, that just won't happen because everybody has freedom of speech. So That's, there's a thing. My as mom is going speech. to kill me, but why is that? <laughs> no, but I, I Parents, found that, right? I found that we fake yeah, news. Yeah, I mean. Oh my goodness, your grandmother will call you, oh, wow, have you seen this? Your parents are the, the I mean, the older generation, they mm. actually believe. They soak everything mm. in. Mm. Do you, I don't like, I don't get why. So, I mean, every parent would always be protective about their exactly. kids, yeah. right? And parents are more confident when their kids are within their environments where they can control what affects them and what, what doesn't affect them. So when you're like far away, let's say your, your parents are in Port Harcourt and you're in Lagos, 
every time there's a, there's a bad news, they're like wondering, where's my child? Are they safe? Um, I hope they are, they, they've seen this information. So trust me, Next they are fueled by, you know, by that, that love and compassion. So I think want maybe to that's what Pepo is saying. She's saying that I think people feel the growth of fake news. We really have positive news trend that it is based on the insecurities like you have mm, mentioned. Mm. So it's it, it a lot. It does it mean that we are all, a, we have a lot more insecure people than secure people, because um, we when whenever there is a, there's bad news, mm. you know someone says we should call it lies. Don't even because if you call it <laughs> fake news, it's still sounding yeah, nice. You yeah. just told a lie, yeah, sure. you know. Mm -hmm. But whenever somebody lies about a situation, tells a lie about a situation. Right, it 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 goes farther than the truth. Why? Well, um, I can't explain why because it's just the way of the world, right? People are more um, it, okay. Okay, for instance, in customer service, right? Okay. The likelihood of a customer sharing a positive experience is is less as compared to when they have a, a negative experience. As a matter of fact, um, research shows that they will share it to at least seven people once they have a negative experience. Exactly. But when they have a positive experience, they never nobody want to share it because, it. as a matter of fact, they want to keep it to themselves so that nobody comes and you know, jeopardizes, um, jeopardizes this yeah. experience they've had. Mm -hmm. So I think it's, it's just the way of the world. People are okay, more- Okay, let's take a quick question. We'll okay. come to your question. Okay. We'll take a question, then we'll take a break. We'll okay. come back and answer it. Um, okay. This is from Dell. Says, hello, um, good evening. How do we get our parents not to believe and not oh the question is just not to believe and not to share all these fake videos and yeah. especially those long voice notes? <laughs> so we'll take that question and Issa's question after the break. Please okay. stay with us. We we'll still have Chiboise with us.